nilimpata na mtu mwingine kwenye kitanda changu so nilikuwa natengeneza kebab so natengeneza kebab nilishtukia kanikata na panga kwenye mguu yani mpaka ukitazama kwenye mguu wangu saizi na alama unaona mm-hmm. hii alama hii so pindi merudi nilipata mambo tofauti mm-hmm. so nilimpata ayuko chumba kizima uh, kiko vacant like kina chochote hata yani hata hata nguo zako za kuvaa mna and remember where we have come from wenda wanaume ni wengi kwenye dunia but kuna wanaume wenye moyo wa kupenda kipato ndo kidogo but i will I, i will do anything i can to see my kids happy Kumbuka ni magapi umenikosea nikakusamea. Greetings Tuko family. My name is Lila Shan. Welcome to yet another episode of Tuko Talks. Now, this story I know is going to shake me a lot and it's going to make me probably shed a tear or two because my guest is suffering. My guest is seeking to just see his children. Now he told me the story of how one day he came home and everything was gone. He's lost his wife and he's lost his children. Up to date, my guest does not know where his family is. And that's all he's seeking, to just see his children. So, I I don't know how we'll do this and I don't know what we'll do, but as I know we are always a family. And I know this video will one day soon enough get to the right people and will be able to help Raja because he's a hard working man and he wants to feed for his family but how can he when he doesn't know where they are so I will let my guest introduce himself tell us a bit about himself and then we can go on with his story again as a form of therapy and at the end of it we can hold his hand and help him look for his family so without further ado i let my guest introduce himself then we can carry on with the story i mean i to rajab abdul um mean i asked that too sina ile job naweza sema at in specific job ikitokea ya hotel utanipata nafanya ya kunywa nafanya but pia nafanya mziki ah, kidogo ya yeah. okay vile ijajipa ya ijajipa mm. usijali naam mebu tu yeah. utupatia brief about yourself kidogo ah uh, mimi melelewa om tuseme nimelelewa na, na mzazi mmoja mwanzo mm. wakati nipo mdogo uh, mama akakuja akapata kuolewa wakati nikimsha kuwa mkubwa so yeah nikuna ndugu watatu ni ndugu ni na ndugu wawili that's tuko watatu kwenye familia mm. so yeah i'm the first born first born yeah sasa so, tunaweza anzia story yako raja pale so, kulianzia ukapatana na msichana mwenye amekufikisha pale huko hapa right nilikuwa na aso mm. unajua kwenye maisha kuna changamoto sana kuna kipindi unapata ushakuwa una ume umefanikiwa kidogo umeanza kushika njia labda afu inafika somewhere la, sababu ya matukio ya, ya dunia ama vitu ambavyo changamoto na pana pale unashuka chini kidogo mm. so kile kipindi nilikuwa kashuka sababu mwanzoni nilikuwa kawa ni kama niko sawa nimejiajiri nini lakini kafika muda nikashuka so nikawa sasa na haso so nilikuwa nafanya kazi hata ya mjengo ikitokea So ule tulipatana kwenye harakati za kazi ya mjengo. Um, kupata kuzungumza, tukakaa tu kwa muda kama karibia miazi saba hivi tunazungumzaga tu kwenye simu. Kafika muda tukaanza kupatana hivi, ananitembelea na mimi muda namtembelea. Kile kipindi alikuwa na mtoto mmoja. So mimi nimpata na mtoto mmoja. So kile kipindi tukaanza kuishi pamoja. Um, that was 2018 alihamia kwako ama mlitoka mkaanza somewhere no, else mimi nilihama ukaenda kwa sasa no eh. nilihama ndo sasa nikamchukua ah. tukawa tunaishi so imulianza fresh yeah, tulianza tu fresh somewhere 
Bede ni kwa naishi kasarani. Sadi changa changa kidogo. Kafungua ka hoteli hapo. Tukawa sasa. Tuna sehemu tunaweza amuka tunaenda kuwa so. Ah, wa mkiwa yeah. wile. Ya. Yeah. So. Ivo ivo. Kajichanga tena hivi tukafungua biashara nyingine ya matunda. So hii biashara ya hoteli ilikuwa inafanya vizuri uka. Ndiyo. Ukapata enough money na capital kufungua ya matunda. Yeah, kafungua ya matunda. Oh, that's nice. Kaji changa changa tena kidogo. Kafungua kefi ya chips. Yeah. Yeah. Ivo ivo tu. So tatu. Ulikuwa na Naam. hoteli, chips na matunda. Naam. So kuna kipindi. Uh, alikuja hita ya corona. Biashara ikawa. Imeshuka. Yeah. Alafu. Na ya kawa isi vizuri. Ulifunga biashara zote? Ya biashara tulibaki na ya matunda. Okay. Ivo sasa unapata uh, hii time ya corona kazi nyingi sasa zilipotea. Mm. Ikakuwa mimi natoka, imatunda si vile sana, ileti mfedha sana. Sababu fedha nyingi zingetoka huku kwa hoteli oh, nini. Na yeah. tuko tunatoka nje kukula yeah, nje. Ya lafu tena maradhi ya hapo. Mm. Nikasema... Sasa itabidi mchana mi naenda na haso. Ile kidogo napata ni kikosa hivyo fresh. Masema alikuwa mgonjwa. Ya. Yeah. Sasa um, alikuwa na shida tumbo. Mm. Ya. Yeah. So after. Siji hiyo inaitua jikizungu ile sema mbao inaingia. Mawe mawe hivi. Oh appendix. Yeah, appendix. So after kukatua. Oh alitolewa appendix. Yeah, okay. Ndiyo ili tugarimu kidogo. Uh, Ikatushusha. Ya yeah, sipa sa kidogo. So, so after then. Um, Nekua mambo so shuari. Haka kuja. Tuka wengana. Mwaka ya fumbili kumina. T- shirini hivi. Shina, shina moja. Kama tuangia shina moja. Mm. Kwa kapata kujifungua mtoto. Mtoto wa pili. Mshichana. Um, Nifraia kiukweli. Manake. Uh, kila, kila muda. Wakatu na wafika atua. Kuna wana familia inakuwa. Mm. Na wasababu ulijitolea kuwa na familia. Kwa kwa inakuwa kama fra. Mtoto wa kwanza alikuwa mshichana pia. Kijana. Oh, okay. So kuna mahali likuwa nimeenda kufanya interview na ukua wa Saidi Zavoy. Mm-hmm. Kaenda. Um, wakati nime, nilienda. Nilienda kama leo. Najua sasa wakati au udekua kwenye kazi pia na uliwezi enda na kurudi. Mm-hmm. So pindi merudi. Nilipata mambo tofauti. Mm-hmm. So nilipata ayuko. Chumba kizima. Uh, kiko vacant like kina chochote. Ata kijiko. Yani ata, ata nguo zako za kuvaa mna. Ah. So ye kasepa. So ni kashindwa sidia kosa. Mi sidia ni kama ni kitoka tulikuwa kwenye mgongoro. Before, ata uj- like ulitoka ukaenda vue. Na, na ile siku ulitoka, Naam. kulikuwa aji kwa nyumba on that, that, that day. Sina hiyo siku ni kamambia mkiu wangu alikuwa na fra. Na nake alijua uh, wakati natoka na anajua vizuri lazima nimeenda kazi hivyo nitapata lishe mm. nitaweza kuwa kwa kimo watu wangu so mimi si kuhisi kama kuna tatizo lolote na hatukugombana yani hatujakuwa tukigoma licha ya changamoto nyingi zenye labda watu upita hatukuwa tumegombana kwa huo muda vile unaongea hapa umekuwa na changamoto ndio najua kwa ndoa hata kwa urafiki hata kikazi anywhere in life lazima yeah. kuwe na challenges lazima kuwe na ilo Muna fight once kidogo kidogo. But maybe just uneza kutueleza. Kuna kipindi wakazi tupo kasarani. Kuna kipindi cha nyuma. Um, nilikuwa na kujanga soko. Gidurai. Hmm. Sababu kiwe kasarani gidurai ndo ile soko. Karibu. Nasema ya karibu na heza pata vitu za kupikia hmm. nyanya nini vitu ngu nini. So nimi nime kuja muda asubu ni kachukua. Pindi karejia kule kuna jamali kwa naletea nyama kule hotelini. So mimi nimefika hotelini kapata shalete nyama. Washa wekelea. Nikauliza vipi mmeni konifamia. Melete kilonga api. Mm. Ya kanambia. Atudia konifamia. Kanambiliza vipi. Tena niliwambiaji. Akilete mkonifam uenda kile alicho kisema sio hicho mm. at least mkikonifam tunajua tunalipa kile alicho kileta sijui hicho kitu labda kilimudhi au so nilikuwa natengeneza kebab so natengeneza kebab nilishtukia kanikata na panga kwenye mguu yani mpaka ukitazama kwenye mguu wangu size na alama mm-hmm. naona hii alama hii 
si, si kwenda hospitali immediately sababu si kwa na mtu tunaweza muacha pala alafu huyu tena kafurugika akili ujue kitu ambacho amekifanya aezi ataki eh amekaa kama kashtuka mm. so hata kazi nikitoka kwenda chemist ama hospitali kama kaiacha hivyo so nilijifunga kwanza ndo mm. nikimalize malize vitu kidogo alafu niende mida ya saa ni sasa ilikuwa kitu saa sita hivi saa tano na uchungu ah nilikuwa na hisi uchungu kweli sababu kipindi na ndo hospitali mguu wote kwa kafura eh hey, itafura mimi mwambia kitu kimoja kwa um, mimi silipizie ubaya kwa ubaya. Yaani ulitonitenda sio poa. Mm. Ila nataka usome kutoka leo usije ukarejea makosa kamaayo. Sababu Ilimuwe. kesho na kesho kuta utapatana na mtu kama mimi. Wenda ukamfanyia mtu mwingine hivyo alaye yeye akachukua sheria mkono tukufanyia nini? Mm. Nikamwambia mimi kitu ambacho nakijua mimi naamua kukaa na wewe. Hivi kama unahisi umechoka na mimi, eri unaambie eh hero naambie tu hadi mimi nimechoka kuishi na wewe mimi ni mtu nitakuelewa mm. ama tutaketi tutazungumza sababu kando na, na mimi na wewe kuna damu iko hapa katikati mtoto yeah. and you stayed ukasema this is the person you chose to love no kake kane yani kapoa na ye, kaka ile kipindi sasa um ikakuwa hiyo ndio sasa nilionaga kwanza mbele kama ile kitu alichokifanya siku anaweza to expect from ah, yeah. so ikakuja ikafika muda mwingine wewe anafanya fanya muziki kidogo kidogo hiyo nikapigiwa na producer fulani anaitwa Jose Tachos ambia Jose vipi njo studio ni kuna msela hapa nilikuwa nataka umwandikie nyimbo mimi mm. nikaenda pindi nimefika nikapata ule jamaa alikuwa amepigia tu producer sim si yeta alikuwa studio ni akamwambia anakuja nikamwambia sasa kwa sababu mpata mteja fita ka hapa ngoja kwanza niingie chumbani alafu nipoe poe nitaku nakuja nikarudi chumbani kaenda nikapata ah, mama watoto ayuko sana shindo huko kaenda wapi mimi kaingia nikaketi tu jinsi unaweza keti sitting kajiuliza da huyu ameenda wapi lakini ikiwa sitting na visikia visauti unaona na visikia visauti ambavyo bedroom tulikuwaaga tunaishi nyumba one bedroom mm. bedroom hakukuwa na tulikuwa na ka TV kadogo na sitting kulikuwa TV sasa TV ya sitting ipata kama naongea lakini nasikia voice nyingine bedroom ah mimi kasema da alikasema hapana acha ni mingi ile nilikikatana nacho ni Mungu peke yake ndo anacho kijua. Nilimpata na mtu mwingine kwenye kitanda changu. Was this before akukate or after? Ilikuwa sasa baadaye. Baadaye. Eh ilikuwa ga baadaye sasa kukata ilikuwa ya kitambo sasa hii ilikuja kutokea baadaye. So ule mwana hey. anataka kutoka saa hiyo. Lakini wewe uko sitting. Eh hey, sasa anashindwa anapita hapa. So alitokea kwa balcon akajirusha kwa mlango nyingine hapo kumbe huyo alikuwa beshte ya huyu ya huyu jamaa oh. akajirusha hiyo balcon nyingine akashuka chini kwa hiyo amkupata atukupatana mimi sikutaka tuzungumze sana naambia tu kitu kimoja um, kile ulichokifanya kama hivyo ndivyo unavyokusudia just do lakini rajab these are two stories these are two incidences yeah. one amekukata you said do and talk about it ukapuuzi ukasema nimekusema unokaishi yeah. tena sasa umepata she's cheating on you bado umekaa tu umesema i don't want to talk about still on to ah, nili, nilika unajua mm-hmm. kuna kitu nilikudanga kuona sijui ni wewe ufumbafu ama inakuagaje mm-hmm. lakini ukipoa na kitu kwa muda waga inakaa kama inakutoka. Mm. So ile ilifikanga ya muda nikamwambia mimi I don't want to talk that. Hapa kuna mtoto ana, watoto wananitegemea na itakuwa bo, sio njema nikianza kuzungumza hivyo nitagadhabika. Hivyo mm. tukianza kuyazungumza hayo mimi sioni akiniendea akienda vizuri. Hivyo kitu akufanya. Wajirekebishe. Nakaa kama mtu. So yeah, hivyo ndo nilivyoimaliza.
um atukaka until hii sasa si yeah, kwa until alianda. sasa hii imefika sijui sijui labda ni kitu alianza kukipanga mapema muda ndio ulikuwa umetimia mm. ama sijui nikielezeaje yeah ila i don't know i don't know yeah, have no answer kwa kwenye kiza kabisa mm. so kitu ambacho hata kinanumiza sana si yeti at yeye amen labda yeye yako sawa mahali yako unaona labda labda iwe ni mtu ambaye alimshawishi kutoka labda oh, ako sawa yeye yeye ako sawa lakini watoto unaweza ukawatesa watu ambao wana oh, atia yeah sababu we unataka kujifurahisha ama unataka kufanya vitu vya kwamba sio poa. Eh? So kutoke siku atoke kwa nyumba mpaka leo hujai muongelesha. Mimi simtati kwenye namba zake. Yaani najaribu hata kumpata mtu yeyote ambaye wa nyumbani kwa wajui hakuna mtu anayejua sema ali. Rafiki zake. Rafiki zake simu zake zote aziende mtu akwambie mimi nampigia simu aiendi. Ni kitu unajua inakusumbua sana hata vile uliongelesha unaniambia tatizo lako si yeye ama anything you just want to know how your children are. No. Na hata nakumbuka ukimwaga machozi ajui inakuuma but now I know I don't know how we can find her. Kama unasema umepigia marafiki zake wakan, wa karibu wazazi wake umeweza kuwapata? Yeah. Na bado hata hawajui. Mama, yeah. Hawajui mali hapo. Dada zake hawajui. Mali... Uh, kuna dada yake mwenye anajua sehemu hapo. Kitu najua. Mm. Mali yako hazi kuwa na shida sababu si ule mtu atakunyamazia akiwa na shida. So it means ye yako sawa. Alijipanga Lakini kitabu. kitu ambacho mimi nataka hata watoto. Yaani kinaniumiza ni ni, ni hali ya watoto mm. sababu wana haki ya kusoma. Wana haki ya kula, wana haki ya kuvaa. Naomba uongeleshe bibi yako whatever she is if she will be able kupata hii video apate mahali waje this is a, me, a way of kupeleka juni itakuwa kwa mtandao kwa hivyo kumfikia inaweza kuwa kwa uraisi mm. unaweza taka kumwambiaje ah uh, mimi kitu naweza taka kumwambia kumbuka mahali tumetoka kumbuka mahali tumetoka kumbuka sacrifices hizo zote ambazo waga na me kwenda sikupi kile kitu ambacho wewe unakitamani kwenye maisha. Uenda juhudi zangu azikufanyi uisi kama wa maana zaidi jinsi unavotaka kuisi kwenye maisha ama jinsi utaka kuishi maisha ya juu ama jinsi unavotaka kwenye maisha yako. Uenda mimi juhudi zangu azi, azikuridhishi. Lakini Najaribu kandri ya uwezo wangu. Sababu mimi najituma sitalala ndani. Sababu mwisho wa siku nataka nione mmekula, mmevaa, tunapiga hatua kama jinsi tulivyotua tumepiga hatua na vitu kadhalika. Unapohesabu makosa yangu sababu mimi sijui nilikosea nini. Ningependa kujua makosa yangu hasa ila unapohesabu makosa yangu sisahau na wema wangu wenda makosa yangu yakawa mazito kwako ama unahisi umenichoka ila kumbuka kuna watoto ambao wanaatia kuna kuna watoto ambao waja moja ama nyingine wanatuhitaji zaidi ya jinsi kitu kingine chochote kinatuhitaji kama unitaki i respect your your decision maana siwezi kulazimisha yani mapenzi hayalazimishwe ila kumbuka kuna mtu hapo katikati anateseka bila hatua bila 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 makosa mimi ni mwanadamu sija jakamilika Nisamee mahali labda nilikukosea Maana mimi napenda kurekebishwa sijakamilika kabisa na mtu ajijuagi mtu anajulikana na wale watu ambao wako karibu na yeye
kila saa nikiona mtu ananipigia simu na hisi kama we ndo unapiga pata namba mpya na hisi we ndo unanipigia labda unanitafuta ila wapi hakuna kidonda kikubwa kama kidonda chenye kipo kwenye moyo uwezi kaanga na maji moto uwezi ujue utakiunguzaje sababu unaumia kwa ndani so hata nikijaribu kucheka na fosi kumbuka tu mahali tumetoka mahali tuwai tuliwahi inuka tukafika nothing is hard najua kazi nitapata najua Mungu atanijalia ningependa kuwalea watoto I want to be in life for my kids si nikuje nipate mtoto asha koma ni juu tamwelezaje nilikuwa wapi ule muda it find find the peace in your mind too and remember where we have come from wenda wanaume ni wengi kwenye dunia but kuna wanaume wenye moyo wa kupenda kipato ndo kidogo but i will I will do anything I can to see my kids happy. Kumbuka ni magapi umenikosea nikakusamea. Hata kama nikuniache unataka kuniache, niache kama mbwa. Usiniache kama mtu ambaye hujaipatana naye. Anaona tu kile nakunza zaidi ni watoto wako. So please whatever you are all he's seeking is a chance to be able to just be in his children's life. Amekwambia love for sure sometimes does end. Sometimes you feel like umemalizana na mtu. But as he said all he's seeking for is just to be with his children. He's gone through a traumatic past with his father. Na all anataka tu ni kukua not to work. It doesn't have to be an everyday thing but he wants to be part of their lives. He's crying just asking tafadhali. Hataki kupata watoto wako shakoma. So wherever you are, please just reach out to him. And if you are somewhere and you know mahali yuko, this is a cry from us to you. Please kindly reach out to him. Haja mjiko utatupatia namba yako kama mtaweza taka kupata labda anajua pale yuko. My number my WhatsApp number is 07 uh, that is 0114 Hata mtu akiwa na kazi kinisaidia pia kazi. Mm. So, but the end of the day really I want to 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 to, 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 to keep my my kids shule nini kula siezi wakim bila job bila job so what job you know, would you do Mesema nimefanya, upishi nimefanya upishi mm. fanya pia kinyozi najua kunyoa mm. um, any kind of job mi waga sichagui sababu kichagua kazi kufanikiwa kuna kuwa mbali na wewe mm. so yeah. again if, whatever you are please just mtafute tafadhali we don't want to see this man in pain again it's so much hurt for a man to come out and cry it's a lot of hurt and i appreciate raja that umekuja katupatia story yako na umekuwa vulnerable na ukafunguka na ukaongea si rahisi na naomba kutakuwa na a way out na utapata kuona watoto wako because i know that that's all you want in as much as you love this lady watoto ndio muhimu kwako and i know god will provide a way for you so kama unaweza tafadhali msaidie pia pate kazi he said he can shave he's a cook he makes kebab something that is not easy to make so you can reach out to him the numbers provided below and in the case you can't get to him our emails are open because i always say sisi wote hapa ni familia 
we are a family and families stick together and hold each other's hands but my plea would be if whatever you are baby girl please reach out to Rajab just to give him the peace and comfort in his heart that mko sawa na watoto wako sawa na pia anataka kuwa in their lives please do so asante Rajab na nasema pole tena i know everything will be okay tulenga kwa simu na tukasema mambo ya Mungu ni mazuri god does not want bad for us he wants the best for us so inaweza kuwa sasa hivi unafikiria maisha ni imekulemea lakini there is a plan the best is yet to come tutalia sasa hivi lakini tutapigana tena simu tukicheka si ndio uh-huh. i mean thank you very much guys for being us for this whole episode of Tuko talks <sighs> my name is Lily Aisha and until next time let's keep being the family that we are enjoy your time I thought and I said maybe she may have blocked him so let's try and call with a different number which is my director's number and she's still in Tejah so it's clearly a problem like everyone is saying they've tried to reach her they can't get to her.